There we go. Welcome to the channel. As always, I'm going to have a link down below in the description box to credit WWE. The last time I recorded, um, it crashed my whole effing computer. So things should be good now. Yeet in the bank. Is that a spoiler? I hate to break it to you, yeet so. This ain't it. Well, maybe it is. We'll have to, we'll have to just kind of wait and see. Okay. So, Jey Uso kicked off the show, then L.A. Knight came out, Carmelo Hayes, Chad, Gable, Andrade, little smack talk before Money in the Bank and how everybody wants to win. And, uh, yeah, and that's uh, pretty much it. I'm not too sure who I want to win for, for, this, uh, for this match. We'll, we'll get to that, you know, after. Street Profits defeated... Pretty deadly, but first, but first, Bailey got attacked by Piper backstage while Chelsea Green was chatting about being the Money in the Bank winner. She's Canadian. The show was in Toronto. It seems like maybe there's been a couple of hints as to why some people think she might win Money in the Bank. It's possible. They've already made her tag team champion, so why couldn't they make her Money in the Bank winner and uh, stuff like that? So yeah, pretty deadly. The Yes Boys versus the Street Profits with BFAB again. Bobby Lashley out with an injury, I believe. I say believe because there's been footage of him working out for quite a while, but he's just not around. Um, this was a good match. Like I said, uh, I used to be a little bit critical of Pretty Deadly. I don't remember why. It could could be the shirt. If you spend the extra. $2.99 on that shirt, you get the rest of the shirt, not just the top part. Um, no, it, it was good. Like I said, they're growing on me. I think they're a pretty solid tag team. I, I still think we need a little bit better booking for the tag team division, but that could be another story for another day. When it comes to backstage stuff, this is important because I normally don't want to do the backstage stuff too much. Uh, theory pressed Waller about his loyalty and it made sense. It made sense. Cause don't forget Johnny Gargano, Mr. Wrestling, uh, him and theory have a lot of history in NXT. They used to be bros. Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, the poison pixie versus Bianca and Jade Cargill. Uh, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, but first I need to take a sip. I love Bianca and Jade. I think it's really cool. I like them as individual superstars. I got to get out of that mindset that when they threw you in a tag team, they're kind of like, oh, they gave up on you. That is totally not the right way to look at things. It used to kind of be that way. It used to be, or at least in my opinion, it kind of felt like it was a step down. Um, I would like the tag team division to be on par with the singles division. But anyhow, I expected nothing less from them to, to win uh, because especially with Bianca and Jade Cargill, I mean, to me, they're both great. They're fantastic. They're so strong. They look the part and all this. And, you know, Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Okay. Not that believable, especially in the ring with these two. So I'm just glad they won. But whatever. Now, this was good. This was good here. Here, Kevin Orton. Kevin. Kevin Owens. Randy Orton. Cody Rhodes. In ring promo. Canada's own. And he opened up about his mother being ill and being in the hospital currently. Not scripted. The real deal. And how part of him was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't be here, but my mother would probably whoop my ass. And uh, just another nice moment, really, between all of them. Uh, Bailey defeated Piper Niven. I would be okay with Piper Niven, you know what I mean? Becoming champion someday. And then Chelsea's the money in the bank win. Don't take me too seriously. But I, I really do like them. It's not that I don't like Bailey. This is going to sound so bad. I love Bailey. I really do. I, re I really, really do like Bailey. But there's something about Bailey. Oh, and there's a lot of wild interferences from a bunch of people. Uh, yeah, because then Mishin came out. I love Mishin. 
Nia is really good too. She's gotten a lot better. Now they have a match next week. But back to this here. I'm just going to be blunt because there's no sugarcoating it. And again, all my my attacks, they're not they're not personal at all. They're all like legit. I like Bailey a lot. Her as champion right now, I'm okay with. Just not for too long. There are just other people that I feel overall are a better package deal to be holding the title. That's all I'm saying. Not an insult to her. It, it really isn't. Uh, so take that as you will. And uh, you can let me know, like I said, down below, do you agree? Or if you're like, no, 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 she's the face that runs the place. Then, hey, that's cool. That's cool. I don't know who Bail Key is. I don't know what happened there. It's a typo. We won't look at that. A Town Down Under. They don't even show it. WWE. You're making me look bad. They don't even show it. What the hell's going on? But they're showing last week's. No. So A Town Down Under had a big match versus uh, DIY, and DIY are now champs because Waller pulled the same stunt again, pulled Theory uh, in the way of a kick. I think it was a kick, a punch, a hit, a strike of some sort. That's all we know. And I can't wait to see like what happens from there. There's talk that he's going to fail as a singles competitor as a baby face, I, I don't see that being the case at all. Uh, I really don't. I like, I like this scene. I like to see her on TV more. So she acted like a face essentially because she came to the aid of, um, of Bailey. And, uh, that's like a face move because if you think about it, the OC and all that and AJ, they, they've gone heel. So that's not something they would have done. I don't know if they just cast her out. I don't I just I don't know what's going on with that. And that's the part of the booking. This is the part of the video that I enjoy the most when I make them and I get something in my eye and I look like I'm having a stroke with all the blinking I'm doing is I don't know where they're going. They do all these amazing things like with the Bo Dallas and all that and the Wyatt 6. And then and then you you just have these weird out of like what what the fuck is going on with her? Where did the OC go? Like, what, what's up with that? How do you just go from shitting on them with AJ Styles and then all of a sudden, oh, I need you guys? And what? No, you were punk asses for the longest time. I don't know. It's, it, it, this is the part that gets confusing. And then, of course, Solo, Bloodline. These are good. These are always good with the music to production. It always looks Hollywood-like. And uh, he's challenging Solo, Cody, at, um, I almost said WrestleMania, at SummerSlam, okay? At SummerSlam. And what's going to be really cool about that is uh, maybe someday we're going to see Roman coming back for that belt. I don't know. Because right now, I think it's official. I'm not too sure that Solo is going to face Cody uh, for, the, for the championship at SummerSlam. And, and it's going to sound rude again. Really rude. I don't, I don't really see it. I think Solo's doing a, a, a tremendous job. I really think he's doing an incredible job. He really, really is. There's something that's not resonating with me. For me to be like, yeah, okay. Like, I, I can't... I can't see him. I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm having a hard time uh, seeing him as champ. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. He had a dominant win over John Cena. Again, John Cena was overutilized as a stepping stone by people to the point where now it's like it's gotten old. We can't remember the last time John Cena won a match. So sometimes we go too far with that. And Natalia is the same thing. People are overusing her star power that now it means nothing. She's borderline a jobber. Okay. So that's just my take on it. And now we've got money in the bank coming from as of the making of this video in about five hours and 40, we'll just say in about six hours, give or take a few minutes. 
it's going to hit the fan. And I am super excited for Money in the Bank. There's some rumors of some potential people coming back. There's AJ Lee rumors. Well, these are things that I just think about and the whole world thinks about where she could be involved in some capacity to screw over Drew because it's going to get a little bit old if it's always CM Punk doing it because that's more personal with the bracelet and all that that Drew has. He's got a whole family now, right? And uh, some people think Rhea Ripley could potentially show up in some capacity. doesn't have to be like in a physical capacity. Some people think even Roman Reigns could end up uh, showing up. So there's like a few, a few things. And Money in the Bank to me is actually a pretty big uh, PLE. There's some PLEs where I'm kind of like, mm, um, you know, I don't get overly that excited about. But for one of the non-main big ones, uh, for me, Money in the Bank is like one of my favorites. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. As always, let me know down below what you think. What's your predictions? What would you like to have happen? And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. So a thumbs up as always if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. A thumbs down if you didn't like it. See him right there. We'll bend it in half, twist it, break off a solo Sokoa spike in your ass. Remember, solo Sokoa is Samoan. Sokoa, Samoan, Sokoan. Yeah. His thumb. He's got the glove on. He's ready to go. He's ready to rock and roll. Not my thumb. No. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.